Hi everyone, welcome to our channel, where we share the latest and most relevant news and insights about the crypto world. In this video, we will talk about one of the most fundamental and fascinating questions in crypto, why are there only 21 million Bitcoin? How did Satoshi Nakamoto, the mysterious creator of Bitcoin, come up with this number? And what will happen when all 21 million Bitcoin are mined? Bitcoin is the first and most popular cryptocurrency in the world. But unlike fiat currencies that can be printed or created by central banks at will, Bitcoin has a fixed and predetermined amount of coins that can ever be created. Stay tuned to find out more. Bitcoin was launched in 2009 by an anonymous person or group using the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto. Bitcoin is a decentralized and peer-to-peer -peer digital currency that operates without any central authority or intermediary. Anyone can send and receive Bitcoin transactions using a network of computers called nodes that validate and record them on a public ledger called the blockchain. One of the unique and distinctive features of Bitcoin is its limited supply. Unlike fiat currencies that can be printed or created by central banks at will, Bitcoin has a fixed and predetermined amount of coins that can ever be created. This amount is 21 million. This means that there will never be more than 21 million Bitcoin in existence, no matter what. But why 21 million? Why not 20 million or 22 million or any other number? Well, there is no definitive or official answer to this question, as Satoshi Nakamoto never explained the reasoning behind this choice. However, there are some possible explanations and theories that have been proposed by various experts and enthusiasts over the years. Here are some of them. The money supply replacement theory, this theory suggests that Satoshi Nakamoto chose 21 million as the maximum supply of Bitcoin because he wanted to create a digital alternative to the existing money supply in the world. According to this theory, Satoshi Nakamoto estimated the total amount of money in circulation in 2009 to be around $21 trillion. By dividing this number by 1 million, he arrived at 21 million as the optimal number of Bitcoin units that could replace the existing money supply. The mathematical extrapolation theory, this theory suggests that Satoshi Nakamoto chose 21 million as the maximum supply of Bitcoin because he derived it from some mathematical calculations based on the parameters of the Bitcoin protocol. According to this theory, Satoshi Nakamoto set the initial reward for mining a new block of Bitcoin transactions to be 50 Bitcoins. He also set the reward to be halved every 210,000 blocks, which is approximately every four years. By following this geometric progression, the total number of bitcoins that can ever be mined converges to a limit of 21 million. The educated guess theory, this theory suggests that Satoshi Nakamoto chose 21 million as the maximum supply of bitcoin because he made an educated guess based on some assumptions and preferences. According to this theory, Satoshi Nakamoto wanted to create a digital currency that would have similar prices to existing currencies, but without knowing the future demand and adoption of Bitcoin, he had to make a difficult choice. He decided to pick a number that would be in the middle range between being too small or too large for the potential market size of Bitcoin. These are some of the most popular and plausible theories that try to explain why there are only 21 million Bitcoin. However, none of them can be verified or confirmed by any evidence or statement from Satoshi Nakamoto himself. Therefore, we may never know for sure what was his true intention or motivation behind this decision. But what we do know for sure is that there are only 21 million Bitcoin, and this has some important implications and consequences for the future of Bitcoin and its users. Here are some of them. The scarcity effect, the limited supply of Bitcoin creates a scarcity effect that increases its value and demand over time. As more people want to buy and use Bitcoin, but there are fewer coins available, the price of Bitcoin tends to rise. This also creates a deflationary pressure that reduces inflation and increases purchasing power. However, this also creates some challenges such as volatility, speculation, hoarding, and wealth inequality. The mining incentive, the limited supply of Bitcoin creates a mining incentive that rewards and motivates miners to secure and maintain the network. 
Miners are nodes that use their computing power to solve complex mathematical problems and validate new blocks of transactions. They receive newly minted bitcoins as a reward for their work. However, this reward decreases over time as the supply of bitcoin approaches its limit. This means that miners will eventually rely on transaction fees as their main source of income. This could affect the profitability, security, and decentralization of the network. The innovation incentive, the limited supply of Bitcoin creates an innovation incentive that encourages and stimulates developers and entrepreneurs to create new solutions and applications for Bitcoin. As the supply of Bitcoin becomes more scarce and valuable, there is more demand and opportunity for improving and enhancing its functionality, usability, and accessibility. This could lead to the development of new technologies, protocols, platforms, and services that could expand and diversify the Bitcoin ecosystem. As you can see, the 21 million limit of Bitcoin is a very significant and influential factor that shapes the past, present, and future of Bitcoin. It is one of the reasons why Bitcoin is so different and special compared to other currencies and assets. It is also one of the reasons why Bitcoin is so attractive and appealing to many people around the world. Probably you want to know if there is going to be more than 21 million Bitcoin and the simple answer is no, there will not be more than 21 million Bitcoin. This is because the Bitcoin protocol has a hard-coded limit of 21 million coins that can ever be created. It cannot be changed without a consensus among the majority of the network participants. Therefore, unless there is a radical change in the Bitcoin protocol or a fork that creates a new version of Bitcoin with a different supply limit, there will never be more than 21 million Bitcoin in existence. As you can see, the 21 million limit of Bitcoin is a very significant and influential factor that shapes the past, present, and future of Bitcoin. It is one of the reasons why Bitcoin is so different and special compared to other currencies and assets. It is also one of the reasons why Bitcoin is so attractive and appealing to many people around the world. That's it for this video. We hope you learned something new and useful about why there are only 21 million Bitcoin. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. We would love to hear from you. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. We have more exciting and informative videos coming up soon. Thanks for watching and see you next time.